And now we take you back to the golden age of radio. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this moment with the Why Not Radio Theater Show. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. America. To all our listeners from coast to coast and sea to shining sea, here's the headlines in the world of art, culture, and business. Fact. El Paso County is home to more than 2,000 arts-related businesses, also known as creative industries, that employ nearly 6,000 people. That's more than will fit on a Greyhound bus! Fact! Creative industries are the fifth largest employment cluster in the state of Colorado, and the state of Colorado ranks fifth in the nation in concentration of artists. Be quiet. We're concentrating. <laughs> This just in, over half of all Fortune 500 companies require creativity training in their workplaces. And did you know? <laughs> Nearly all Nobel Prize winning scientists are actively involved in the arts as adults. They're 25 times as likely as average folks to sing, dance, or act. And 17 times as likely to engage in visual arts. Not to mention 12 times more likely to write poetry or literature. And did you know that 80% of inventors interviewed in a recent study could point to specific ways in which their arts education directly enhanced their innovation. Holy smoke! It's true! It's true! <laughs> you know, a survey by the conference board finds that employers ranked creativity and innovation among the top five most important workplace skills for the future. Ooh! Ooh. In fact, the Pikes Peak region is home to more than 200 nonprofit arts and culture groups, and annual attendance to arts events tops 1.5 million. That's a lot! Fact! Local nonprofit art organizations generate about $95 million in annual economic impact. And the Travel Industry Association of America finds that cultural tourists, folks who travel to experience art, culture, and heritage, spend more money and have more overnight stays than other kinds of leisure travelers. They account for half of the overnight leisure travelers in the state of Colorado. But what does this all mean? Well, it seems to me, if you want a city with great quality of life that attracts innovative people, business, young professionals, and tourists, you gotta have the arts. That is correct. And arts in our schools. <laughs> we couldn't have said it better ourselves. And now a word from our sponsors over on stage one, your host for today. From the Colorado Springs Chamber of Commerce, President and CEO Dave Sinte. And from Copper, the Cultural Office of the Pikes Peak Region, Executive Director Christina McGrath. 